Good morning. Ben made chili for us last night, so I'm just cleaning up the mess that he creates. <laughs> I'm not complaining though because he cooked. So Ben, if you're watching this, it was delicious. Can you cook more often? Because you're a better cook than me. Okay. Thank you. I just thought I've got hair in my eye. I know. Ah. I thought I'd pop on and say hello before I head off to work today. Um, this morning I have been on deep clean overload. Is anyone else like a really spontaneous deep cleaner? Like I clean all the time. I, I actually quite enjoy um, cleaning the house and making it nice to be in and smell nice and look nice and look tidy which as I've said before is an extremely hard job to do when you're renovating a house and kind of constant <laughs> but it's not I'm a big deep cleaner and then all of a sudden sometimes I'll just get the urge and I'll do it so this morning I've moved our rug from the dining room section into the living room section and deep cleaned that um, I can't decide if I like it there or not and also I can't decide if we just need to get rid of the rug because it smells too much like animal, um, which is a big paranoia of mine. I'm always really paranoid that my house smells like cat or dog or something like that. Um, I mean, no one's ever told me it does, but would they tell you that it does? I don't know. If you've been to my house, could you smell the fact that I have a cat and a dog? Uh, let me know. So yeah, I don't really know. At the minute it's wet, so it just smells like wet rug. Which isn't helping the situation of me being paranoid that my house smells like animal. But we'll see what it's like when I get home tonight. Thrilling content for you right now. Please still see me. TikTok shop got me this morning. It got me. Um, you'll all know, you'll all know that I have always struggled with like, with my hair. Um, and it's thickness, it's very fine. Uh, I feel like it's getting thinner and it's very much affecting me. Um, and there's a, there's a product going around TikTok at the moment with, and it's like a hair growth thing. I bought some rosemary oil, which I mix and put in every, every time I wash my hair as like a hair mask and that stays in for a good hour, if not more. But, there's a, there's always one spoon that you miss. Quick, before the water goes. Um, I can't remember what it's called though, which is really useful to you. But I'll be able to share my journey with it with you. But it's a full set and it was only £22. And it's a shampoo, conditioner, uh, an, a mask and an oil. Um, and I've had so many people, like pages come up where they've started to see results after six weeks and like they're good results. And there's a girl on there that has a very, very similar hair type to me, if not finer. And she started getting loads of baby hairs and everything grow through. So I was a sucker this morning while I was uh, having an extra five minutes sleep on a sofa, <laughs> scrolling through TikTok aimlessly and I bought it. So we'll see how that goes. I'll show you it when it arrives. Knowing TikTok shop is probably gonna be over a week until that comes though, so. It's so dark and gloomy outside today. But I remembered the other thing I was gonna say to you. This morning, I accidentally used my blush as powder and like smothered my powder brush in it and put it on my forehead. And now I'm really paranoid that my forehead just looks a little bit sunburned. Go on then, up. Oh, well done. Um, I don't think it does. But I'm really paranoid that it does. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> it does look slightly sunburnt on my forehead, doesn't it? Errors, errors were made this morning. Well, what a week this is turning into. Hi, it's Thursday. I'm currently working from home because my car has broken down as has Ben's. So we're currently carless in this ho household. Um, Ben's basically nearly blew up on tu Tuesday. Uh, so he's been getting taxis to and from work. And mine's been playing up, well, turns out probably been playing up 
for the last two years <laughs> since I had it. But it started to shake when I was driving on the 3rd of November. So when I went to my mum's and it, it, it did it before and it went in to be checked for its MOT and they came back and, wow, I look rough today, sorry guys. Um, went back. It went in for its MOT and it was checked and they told me it was the brakes. So they redid all of the brakes. That's a long story, but I'm going to be honest, never get a car from the car shop because their service has been shocking. Um, but anyway, so it had that and that was probably oh, just over a year ago. It had that. It's had its second MOT now. That was all sorted. And then on the 3rd of November, it started to do the shaky thing again. Ben was like, oh check your tyre pressure, maybe it's a flat tyre. And then he borrowed it last night, so 16th of November, and rang me and he was with his friend who does loads of stuff with cars. Turns out they think my handbrake is seized on because he touched it and it was coming, like the seizement, whatever it is, it's coming from the back right and apparently that's normally your handbrake my camera's flashing this battery is shocking apparently that's normally your handbrake um put you there yeah that's normally your handbrake if i say that one more time and he touched it and now he has first degree burns it was that hot that it it basically just singed his skin off that went into the garage today and so working from home because i have no car tomorrow i'm gonna have to get a taxi into work because I have to go into work tomorrow, I've got no choice. And they can't look at my car till Monday. I'm meant to be going up north next weekend for my grandma's birthday. So fingers crossed I can go up there because I really want to make sure I can get up for that. Um, it's like a big family meal out. So I have to be there for that. But yeah, that is my current situation. So I'm currently drinking Dr Pepper. Just had a jack of potato for lunch. Taking the car to the garage. I have Walking Dead on in the background. What nostalgia, season... I um, just got to season two, about to put episode one on. Let me know if you watched The Walking Dead. Is it your thing? Ben doesn't like it. I don't know if he's watched it. I don't think he's given it a chance. But, yeah. So I've got that one in the background while I work from home. So it's a great week. It's going well. <laughs> Stop it. Fever hit. World's going to shit. Might as well quit. Dumbass didn't know enough to shoot himself in the head. And I'm going to do a big swinging piece of bass. I don't know if you can see me. Uh, kinda. <laughs> I look like a baby in a snowsuit, like I can't move. Guys, my car's fixed. They fixed it in a day. I'm really, really impressed. Like, I dropped it off yesterday at quarter to one. They rang Ben at three and said that what, what was wrong with blah, blah, that they'd ordered the par. And then they rang him at quarter past five and said that it's fixed and ready to be picked up. So, woohoo! So now, um, I'm off to Cambridge to go have dinner with my Rituals girls. Have a little catch up and I'm very excited we're going to Bill's and I love Bill's so much. So yeah, let's go to Cambridge. Try a tiny bit. The hair stuff that I told you I ordered arrived yesterday and I washed my hair today and I don't know why I thought basically I might talk to you about this when I get back. I'm about to go to Audi. But it's the Grow Complex TikTok, like, viral hair stuff, like, from Nature Spell. And you get a shampoo, conditioner, a hair mask, and, like, the hair oil. The instructions on the hair oil, I've already used it, obviously, because that's the kind of person I am. Like, I get something new, I have to use it. Also, I look like I have a black eye. I don't. I'm just very tired. <laughs> um, it says smooth four to eight drops through damp hair and style as usual. In my head, I was like, well, that means I use it after I've washed my hair. Would that, is that how you would take it? Uh, I didn't use four or eight drops. I used three because you get loads out and obviously I don't have much hair. And I don't know why I thought it would work because it's an oil, but now my hair is just gross. <laughs> and like, and feels gross 
So I'm going to go to Aldi um, and then I'm going to wash my hair again. The bits of my hair that I didn't put oil on, so you literally only put it on the ends, feel so soft. So I think it's going to work, but yeah, I'm going to wash it when I get back. And I'll show you everything as well when I get back from Aldi. It was actually a really relaxing walk. It's like that weather where it's raining, but it's not raining. Does that make sense? So it's like, basically you're walking in a cloud. Um, and I was cozy and warm in my coat. And it still looks like autumn on the ground. And I had um, a podcast on. And it was just really refreshing and relaxing having like the misty air on my face. And it's really quiet outside. Like, I don't know if... Maybe kind of a little bit eerie <laughs> quiet outside. But I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I really fought myself to go out on that walk. Because no part of me wanted to. I even filled my basket on Deliveroo with some grocery from the co-op, which is next door to Aldi. And... There was 30 pounds in that basket and I said to myself, no, I look like a drum rat. Um, if you walk to Aldi, you'll get some exercise. You will feel better. So I was feeling a bit sluggish and you will spend way less money. Uh, I spent 12 pounds instead of 30 pounds. I do feel better. I do still need to rewash my hair. I also did 20 minutes of yoga this morning, which I was very proud of myself for. It's something I want to try and do more. Maybe I'll film one of them that I do. There's a girl on YouTube that uh, I follow her, like, flows. Is that what they call it? Um, <laughs> I follow one of her flows. And she's really good. She explains things really well. And I did a beginner's one. And then I also did, like, an intermediate one, just to see. Um, and it was still really easy and, like... I could do it basically so she's really good to follow I'll leave her link in the description below I can't remember what she's called off the top of my head but she is really sweet her voice is very relaxing which is always really good if someone's talking you through a yoga flow um so yeah, I did that this morning so I've doubled the amount of exercise that I normally do my cheeks are really rosy as well because it's so cold outside right I am gonna rewash my hair and then yeah, I'm back. I think I'm going out for a drink tonight. I think I'm going to the pub. Ben just texted me. Well, he texted me early and said that he's going to go for a drink with Sam, one of our friends. And then he just texted me while I was out saying, oh, Jess, you're Sam's wife. One of my bridesmaids. She might be coming too. Are you going to come? I was like, well, I can't really say no now, can I? So let's go wash my hair. That means I've got to think of an actual pub-worthy outfit rather than Lululemon leggings and a way oversized jumper. Ugh. Hello, it's much later now. Um, as you can tell, I've rewashed my hair. I am actually really impressed with this shampoo and conditioner. Obviously, I've only used it well, as I say, I've only used it once, but I've actually now used it twice because I had to wash my hair twice. Um, but it's so silky, and I've actually straightened it today. And I know in my last vlog, I didn't like it. In this one, I'm actually really enjoying this. And I think I just, my hair just didn't like the shampoo and conditioner that I was using. So I was using um, Redken. Let me see if I can put you somewhere. My arms ache when I hold you. Okay. Uh, I was using a Redken shampoo and conditioner. Well, uh, the shampoo was for coloured hair and the conditioner was for thickening. I, they did match, but Ben used one of them. Um, as body wash when he ran out of his body wash so I ended up using some random ones um, and my hair was just really flat it was really dull um, it wasn't very shiny and it's amazing what difference a good shampoo and conditioner makes so like I said it's the growth complex 
Um, nature spell it's all over tiktok at the moment this is if you want to buy it and i've got a shampoo conditioner a hair mask and the growth hair oil and it was like 22 pounds so obviously i have no idea if it's going to help with thickening my hair up yet but with how it feels now worth it for, to me <laughs> i definitely need to go get a haircut though and um have my color topped up because she's looking a little bit Dull. and I really gonna, I'm really going to have these fringe bits cut shorter I think I'm going to go here I'm going to go short guys um, just because A they seem to have grown really quickly so they don't really have much definition anymore um, and B I kind of knew as soon as I had them cut the first time that I was going to go shorter uh, so yeah I need to book that in hopefully before Christmas I'll do that Raya if you're watching I'm going to be in contact. <laughs> what was I going to say? I need to do my makeup now. Uh, because we're going, we're going to go to the pub. We're going to go to the pub. Um, so that would be nice. So yeah, I thought I would just do a bit of a time lapse with my boring makeup that is exactly the same as it has always been. But enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I need to fess up. It's actually Tuesday of the following week of the vlog from last week. But I haven't edited well. I've edited it this morning. I haven't had a chance to. <laughs> but I wanted to show you something really, really exciting. Are you ready? Our landing is done. So we had... It's going to be so hard to show because the windows are annoying here. We've had all of our artwork put up. We've had the big clock is up. I think that's probably my favourite part. And then this side's all done. We have used um, command strips. Just because there's so many, we didn't want to put that many holes in the wall. <laughs> uh, and we lost... Well, actually, that one fell down and broke last night. And that it knocked this one off. But we've added an extra command strip, so that's all right. But... Guys, I'm so excited. Let's see if I can show you from down. <laughs> like it looks so cool as you come up. And you've got a little sunflower one there. But like as you come up the stairs, you can see all the art. So happy. 
very happy that that's done. So now, all that needs to go up is the light, and then this is done. Fini. And that's basically upstairs done. We're redoing parts of the bathroom, um, and the desk needs to go in the office. But apart from that, it's done. So then we're just waiting for a log burner and an extension in July. But yeah. But I didn't want to wait until next week to show you this. I wanted to show you it now because I'm very excited about it. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I've only just edited the vlog this morning because um, I didn't edit on Saturday for some reason. I can't remember why. Uh, I had quite a lazy day. And then I went out for a couple of drinks Saturday evening and then on Sunday Ben and I went for a really nice dog walk in the woods and then we went go-karting, which turns out I'm very bad at. Um, but enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. I was actually a bit anxious about it because... I mean, I don't know how to word it, but like I'm very girly girl, so I feel like people will look at me and be like, oh god, she's going to get in the way on the track. That's all that kept going on in my head. Um, but actually, I really enjoyed it. I was the slowest on the track, but... And also, my arms are still killing me from it, and it's Tuesday, but yeah, so yeah, I didn't want to like put myself sat in front of like a laptop to edit and stuff after that, and then yesterday was Monday, what did I do yesterday? Oh, again, yeah, just had a cosy evening with Ben, so I didn't want to sit with my laptop out. So I've edited this morning. There's just this clip to go back in, and then I can upload it, although I have about 20 minutes until I need to leave for work. So I've got a lot that I need to get done in 20 minutes. So I'm going to go, and I will see you next week, this week. How confusing. Yeah, thank you for watching the vlog. I hope you had a great t time. Am I okay? I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Goodbye. I forgot to say that last clip that you saw before the last clip that you saw. Um, that's how we planned out all the artwork, so Ben used the software that he uses for his tattoo designs and we measured it all out, it was all to scale and we placed all the pictures there so that when his dad came around they knew exactly what they were doing, where they were going. Um, but yeah, that was fun. We decided to do that at 11 o'clock on Sunday night. But anyway, yes, goodbye, see ya.